Hi, this is Reggie York. This is a presentation on a target behavior definition and analysis in evaluation research. This is evaluation research for the human services, basically. That's me, University of North Carolina, Wilmington. This presentation is about the role of target behavior definition and evaluative research. In other words, why do we bother spending some time with the question of how do we define our target behavior? Secondly, the role of target behavior analysis in evaluative research. Also, why? Why do we do it? Also, illustrations of target behavior definitions and illustrations of target behavior analysis. Let's talk about target behavior. This is what this is about, of course. Let's give a definition. Target behavior and evaluative research is the behavior that should be improved for the social benefit that has been identified. It is client-oriented, not oriented to service process. Client benefit is the key. Examples. Risk factors for dropping out of school. What, could, what makes you vulnerable to that? Uh, delinquency. Child abuse and neglect. Self-sufficiency for disabled senior citizens. Patient adherence to discharge plans for, hus for discharge hospital parent patients. Or even better, you might say premature rehospitalization actually would be a better one than that. Parenting skills. Let's ask this question. Are these legitimate target behaviors? Lack of school social work services. What do you think? No, it is not. Because it's about a service, not about a benefit to society or an individual. How about this one? Absence of an intake protocol for the hospital emergency room. Is that a target behavior? According to our definition, no. Again, it refers to service process, not client benefit. How about this one? Failure of the county commissioners to provide sufficient funds for child welfare services. Again, this is not a social benefit kind of statement. So it does not qualify as a target behavior. Target behavior definition entails the specification of what the behavior looks like. What is it? What is child abuse? What is homelessness? And so forth. Target behavior analysis entails the examination of the causes and consequences of the behavior and the needs of those ex who experience it, as well as evidence about what works. Here we're talking about what do we know about this kind of behavior that could guide us in deciding what to do about it. How does definition help? Does a better target behavior definition that is to say, you defined the target behavior a lot better than I did. So, does it help you determine how to measure client progress? Or determine what kind of service to offer? Or decide whether or not we need a comparison group for our, for our research study? What do you think? Well, I hope you chose the very first one, determine how to measure client progress. If you have defined the behavior better than I have, you in a better position to find a way to measure it. You have defined all the components of what comprise this behavior. I have just done something kind of vague. You have guidance for that task of measuring client progress. I do not. How does a better target behavior analysis help? Does a better target behavior analysis help us to determine how to measure client progress? If you've done a better job of analysis, can you better, are you better able to measure client progress? Or determine what kind of service to offer? Or decide whether or not we need a comparison group for our, for our research study? Well, I hope you said the second one, determine what kind of service. If you understand that the causes of delinquency reside in the community, environment, if that's what you find, but I haven't done any kind of analysis. Obviously, if you think that the community environment is a very big player in determining what causes delinquency, you would then be guided to find an intervention that in intervenes into the community, right? Okay. Which of these is a good definition? Well, I want you to hit the pause button there 
and look at these two and come back and tell me the, the, the obvious answer to the question. Okay, I hope you clearly can see that the second definition is the better one. And you have all kinds of information there uh, that would help you to know what child abuse is and therefore how to measure it. Which of these is good? Premature rehospitalization is when the patient comes back to the hospital too early. Or premature rehospitalization is when the client comes back to the hospital for the same condition as previously treated within six months of discharge. Well, I hope you can see from those two that you have better guidance in regard to the second one than the first one. What about these two? Homelessness is when you do not, do not have a home. That's probably what a lot of people would say if you said, what is homelessness? But let's look at this one. Hit the pause button if you would and read over this uh, more elaborate definition and then come back to me after you resumed. Okay, I hope you have seen that this uh, definition provides some guidance on how you might measure uh, homelessness. If you expand the concept to homelessness vulnerability, it would even include people who have are on the verge of being evicted. So that might be then your target population would be those about to be convicted, evicted, those sleeping on a couch, and those who are sleeping on the street. But you have said in your definition on the second one, we are encompassing all of these levels. And you might even come up with some kind of scale where you got uh, uh, zero is uh, one who is not vulnerable at all. Person living in their home without a threat. Number one on that scale would be you're, you're in your home but uh, in a threat. Number two would be you're sleeping on somebody's couch. Number Three would be you're sleeping on the street. And you could use that as a scale and think about uh, different people at various levels in your goal. What might be or your objective might be to improve their level of vulnerability. Let's look at target behavior analysis. What causes child abuse? Is it uh, parents' lack of knowledge of good parenting? Is it parents' psychological problems? Is it our violent culture. I mean, what is it? What are the causes of it? Uh, that would be what an analysis would look like. What causes students to drop out of school? Is it poor grades, poor self-esteem, uh, influences from the community, or what? What causes seniors to be placed out of the home? What are the causes of that? And how might that guide you in thinking of what to do to help? What causes depression? Is it uh, is depression caused strictly by genetics? If so, there's not much really you could do about it. But if you can find that depression is caused by certain life events and stresses or dysfunctional ways of thinking about that uh, or uh, other kinds of things, uh, you then have some kind of guidance about what to do to treat depression. Suppose you found that child abuse is primarily caused by a lack of parent knowledge of good child rearing practices. What would that logically lead you to do? Well, I would say training. Um, would you offer psychoanalytic psychotherapy or parent training? Well, I would say, as I just mentioned, parent training. Because if they, if they lack knowledge, training is, is, is a normal solution. They don't need therapy. They would need therapy if uh, they were experiencing psychological problems and their psychological problems was causing them to uh, be abusive or neglectful. If both of them are causes, then perhaps both services would make sense. Suppose you found that child abuse was caused by a wide range of environmental factors like poverty, unemployment, social isolation, and general violence in the community. Well, then obviously you would be thinking in terms of a community or environmental intervention rather than an individual one. Evidence, um, one of the questions is what do we know about what works that can help in regard to our analysis to again guide 
the decision of what to do, what kind of service to offer. Evaluative research helps with this. The literature has a great deal of information on that. Uh, perhaps best is the systematic review of evidence from sources like the Campbell Collaboration or the Cochrane Collaboration or from websites on evidence. I suggest you stick with things like uh, the governmental ones or something like the American Psychological Association or some major uh, entity like that that would have a lot of credibility. It's very easy to find these on the internet. Just put in some keywords. The, the National Institute of Drug Abuse is one example. It provides help with such things as principles of good treatment, type of treatment found effective with designated populations, and so forth. It can be a very good guide as to what kinds of things work with what kinds of people. There are various other sources of evidence that can be found uh, on the internet. Again, just type in the words. Let's summarize. Target behavior is the thing we want to improve. The definition of it helps us to find a good way, way to measure success. The analysis of it helps us to determine the service to offer. Let's do a little review. Uh, Joan has been better, has, be, has been better than Jane at defining the target behavior and anxiety, but Jane has done a better job of analyzing anxiety. Who's in a better position to find a good measure of anxiety? Well, it's the one who has to find it better, right? What about uh, going back to the previous one? Um, who is in a better position to find a, a good service? That, of course, would be Joan because she's analyzed it better. Question two, true false. Uh, target behavior analysis refers to service process rather than client benefit. Is true or false? It is false. Target behavior analysis refers to client benefit, not service process. How about this one? True, false. Evidence about what works is not relevant to target behavior analysis. Well, that's false, of course. Okay, we've gone over target behavior in regard to definition, or in regard to analysis, in regard to evidence, uh, and I hope this has been a help to you.